Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain differentiation property of Z transform. So first, I'll explain what is differentiation property in Z transform, and then we will solve one complicated example of Z transform. Without differentiation property, there are few problems which is extremely difficult to solve it by using normal way. So I'll explain one problem by which we can understand how to utilize differentiation property to solve given signal Z transform. So what is differentiation property of Z transform? So see if you have signal X of n and if its Z transform is X of Z then differentiation property states that n into x of n z transform is minus z into dxz by dz. So this is what differentiation property of z transform n x of n z transform is minus z dxz by dz. So this is how we can utilize this differentiation property of Z transform. Now I'll explain one example. So it will gives you idea about how to utilize this property. So for that question is if you have X of Z that is log of 1 plus A Z inverse where mode of Z means ROC that should be greater than mode of A then question is find X of N so we have a question to find original signal X of N if you have Z transform which is log of 1 plus A Z inverse now see here one thing that is very much clear by using normal formula of Z transform or inverse Z transform it is next to impossible to solve this by mathematical calculation and even if you can solve this you will be taking very much time and you need to have so many assumptions to solve this but by using differentiation property we can solve this we can solve this z transform problem so here x of z is given now see first what i will be doing is i will try to make this equation in this differentiation form so if I take dxz by dz then we can say it is differentiation of log of 1 plus az inverse. Now differentiation of this is 1 by 1 minus sorry 1 plus az inverse into differentiation of this part. So 1 differentiation is 0 plus a is constant into differentiation of z inverse that is z to the power minus 2 into minus 1. So this is minus a z raised to minus 2 divided by 1 minus a z inverse. Now to make this form d by dz again what I will be doing is I will multiply minus z with this. So if I multiply minus z with this, you will be getting minus z dxz by dz that will be if you multiply minus z with this, so minus minus that will get plus and this minus minus that will get plus and this will be a z inverse divided by sorry this is 1 plus so 1 plus a z inverse now again let us have little more simplification of this so if you simplify this further you will be getting it is z inverse means a by z so this will be a divided by z plus 
a this will be a divided by z plus a now we have this and inverse z transform of this that is n into x of n but before that we should know what is the z transform of a divided by z plus a if you know this then directly one can go for reverse process but we don't have basic formula for a divided by z plus a so i'll explain how to use this term for a solution now see we have some basic idea about what is the z transform of a to the power n u of n so z transform of this is z divided by z minus a but now you see in denominator we have z plus a here and here we have z minus a so all we can do is we can have minus a instead of a so z transform of minus a so that will make my z transform of minus a to the power n u of n that will make z transform will be z divided by z plus a now we have z plus a in denominator but we don't have z we don't have z in numerator in our final solution so here we can use time shifting property so if you use time shifting property so that will that will multiply z inverse if you shift it by minus 1 instead of if you have instead of n if you have n minus 1 then z inverse could be multiplied here so see minus a to the power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 z transform that will be z inverse means z to the power minus 1 into x of z so x of z is this so z inverse into x of z that is z divided by z plus a so this z z will get cancelled so this will be 1 divided by z plus a now see here we have a in numerator so you have a in numerator so if you multiply a both of the side if you multiply a both of the side in that case one can go for further solution so if i multiply a at both of the side then what i'll be getting is a to the power n u of n minus 1 z transform that will be instead of n minus 1 now it will be n it will be a divided by z plus a so now see this is what the form which we have right so now we can say and this is what z transform this is what z transform inverse z transform of x into sorry n into x of n right and this is what our original signal that we can say n into x of n so we can say here n into x of n that is equals to minus a to the power n u of n minus 1 so from this we can have x of n that is minus a to the power n divided by n into u of n minus 1 so this is what original signal and that was the question initially which was there here right so basically when you calculate z transform for this type of questions at that time first we need to take differentiation so that we can have this differentiation properties so of minus z dxz by dz that we need to form first then we have one term now we need to simplify that in so such a way so that we can compare that with original signal so we don't have this 
form if you have this form then directly one can have answer but we don't have this form so we know a to the power n u of n z transform and that is z divided by z minus a so to have z divided by z plus a you need to consider minus a to the power n and then we don't have z in numerator here so to have it i'm shifting it by minus 1 so that we can multiply z inverse which will cancel z and again i'm doing adjustment to have a divided by z plus a and that adjustment leads minus sorry this minus minus a to the power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 that is this and if you multiply a will result in this basic form and you can compare this with original signal n into x of n so that will result into x of n so i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video we will be finding many more problems related to z transform so that will be giving you clear idea about how to utilize this z transform properties and how we can solve complex example like gate examination problems so stay tuned with this channel you can give your valuable suggestions thank you so much for watching this video